Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. Um, today, I'd like to talk to both Democrats and Republicans about uh, reinsurance that's been talked about over and over and over again the past week. Um, Representative Jurgens uh, described what, what insurance is, and he's correct. It's a financial product that you buy to offset your own risk. And uh, reinsurance, he was correct too, uh, reinsurance is a product that insurance companies buy to insure their portfolio of insured, of insured properties or, or, or risk. But the problem is this that we're talking about is not reinsurance by definition because the insurance company isn't buying it. It's being gifted reinsurance by the taxpayers of Minnesota. It is taking all this, this risk, uh, all the insurance costs, healthcare costs, between $50,000 and $250,000, 80% of it, and making all taxpayers pay for it. And therefore, it is socialism. It's driving the costs through government onto everyone for a very, very small percentage of people. And I, I was in this market for years and was so frustrated that government wasn't doing what it should be doing to lower the cost of care. Reinsurance and all these programs to subsidize and buy down insurance for a small subset of people is not solving the problem. I, I heard just now that there's a rising cost of insurance and it's not budging. The cost of insurance is still increasing. We're just taking a piece of it in pushing it onto the rest of the population who's already buying insurance elsewhere and taxing them to lower the cost for a small subset of Minnesotans who buy private insurance on the individual market. We are not doing anything to lower the underlying cost of health care, which is what all of these insurance costs make up. All we're doing is masking the problem with reinsurance or the program the Democrats offered last biennium, which was to give everybody a 25% off coupon. It's the same thing. It's not addressing the underlying problem, which is the skyrocketing cost of health care. And all the provisions, this was a Band-Aid that was put on for two years that was supposed to, we're supposed to be working on addressing the underlying cost of care. And nothing has been done. Modest advances in price transparency, but the insurance companies and the pharmaceutical companies and the hospital associations continue to increase the underlying cost of care. There's no incentive for the insurance companies to go back and address these costs of care if we pay $30,000 for premiums for our family, and on top of that, $10,000 for a deductible. We're already in $40,000, and the insurance companies only have to cover it to $50,000, and then all taxpayers cover most of the cost to, to $250,000. We're not addressing the underlying cost of care. We had a lot of Republicans stand up this last week and talk about how Nancy Pelosi loves reinsurance. Hillary Clinton endorses it. Keith Ellison, Klobuchar, Tim Walls, Angie Craig, they love reinsurance for a good reason, because it's socialism, and that's what they want. They want to have single-payer health care. They want to have government take it over. Of course they support it. This was a Band-Aid. It isn't a permanent solution, and it's just going to get worse if reinsurance continues. So I'm glad that it's not in this bill, but what's not in the Commerce Bill are advances to open up free markets, to let people shop for care, to let people go outside of their insurance network, to rip the Band-Aid off on price transparency so we can actually see what things cost and see the cost shifting that goes on, to see why MRIs are five or $6,000 at one clinic and across the street they might be $800. You know what? That would actually lower the cost of care and with it, health insurance. We need to put these changes into effect. You know, there's a lot of lobbyists in St. Paul. There's a lot of people that push for, for big handouts for corporations. And it's frustrating to see the amount of people that fight for big insurance companies, big pharma, big hospital associations. There's also people that are up here fighting for people with disabilities and people on low income looking for expanding for Medicaid and other programs. But there are very few people up here fighting for the individual, private, self-insured person. Except we do have a lot of people speaking out, but they just want, they just want their, their share of socialism too. But that isn't the solution to lowering the cost of care because 
The reason why health care costs are so expensive for the individual right now is because they are having to subsidize everyone else in the system. And this reinsurance program gives a lot of their money back to them, but does take money from everyone else. We need to work on free market solutions, and we need to have price transparency. On the energy portion of this bill, I mean, I'm a hard no on that. There, there isn't a lot of good stuff on the energy side. Uh, we talked about slavery. We talked about the environmental destruction that green energy products do overseas, um, how we should be mining here in Minnesota. And if we cannot mine nickel in Minnesota safely, then we shouldn't be subsidizing it and mandating it because we know what destruction it's, it, it does overseas. Look at Indonesia and the, the terrible environmental destruction that they've gone through. Uh, South America, lithium mining for lithium ion batteries has destroyed the environment permanently. Neodymium mining in Batau, and all of these other minerals we talk about in the Energy Committee on, on the wind, windmill blades and how there's no useful byproduct for those and we're shipping them out of state. Not in my backyard. That's pretty much the energy bill wrapped up. So I'm a, I'm a no on this bill, but uh, I would encourage us to have some more free markets in healthcare and some commerce changes. And I know that my bill for the right to shop bill has been held up in commerce and the same in the Senate um, because the lobby against that is so strong. The pharmaceutical company, the pharmaceutical industry, big insurance industry, hates the ability for people to shop for care. But the right to shop bill would have been a great addition to this commerce bill because it would have drastically lowered health care costs by opening up competition and actually incentivizing people to shop for care because they would save half the costs and the other half goes into the pool to lower the costs. Those are solutions instead of reinsurance, things that can actually reduce the cost of care. So members, I encourage you to vote no and thank you so much. Bye.